Let's talk about all the different altcoins that are uh, considered in this case right now. There is a slew of them. And just like Zach said, it's somewhat confusing how these are being picked. And if you have looked at the documentation for these SEC cases over the years, it's also been confusing which ones they throw into the mix in these cases. Again, they normally bring these up against exchanges, not necessarily against the token teams themselves. And so they sort of just kind of throw a slew in there. For this case, uh, we have a decent amount, including Voyager Token, Solana, Sandbox, Near, Polygon, ICP, Flow, Chili's, Cardano, Dash, Axie Infinity, Nexo, and Filecoin. The one missing there that a lot of people were somewhat expecting to see was Ethereum, including Jack Dorsey, who tweeted this morning on Twitter that Ethereum is a security. I want to get your guys' take on this. These tokens are falling as of right now, down around 2% at the most. Coinbase itself is also down about 20%. Coinbase, the security, the stock, and not the token. Zach, to you. Yeah, the question is, at what point do these become adequately decentralized, right? At what point do they grow up and sort of uh, leave the nest as it relates to the founding team or the foundation that is shepherding the growth of these ecosystems, right? These are permissionless blockchains. You can Anyone can build on them. In the early going, a key, a key job of these foundations and other founding teams is sort of spreading the gospel of why folks should build on their chain as opposed to another, right? So I think it's sort of like, I guess the working principle sort of goes back to sort of the Hinman uh, discussion, uh, an earlier SEC commissioner who said, you know, uh, Ethereum is adequately, de adequately decentralized, doesn't really fall into his view of it being a security. That's become contested. It's never been, that has never been an official proclamation from the SEC, but it's something that uh, Gary Gensler has sort of seemingly sought to walk back, right? Um, so the fact that ETH isn't mentioned here, I think is certainly notable. And again, it's just hard. It's just really hard to kind of grok what the, yeah, what the heuristic is uh, for something that's adequately decentralized and so something that's ad adequately out of um, control of the people who start these things, because they have to start somewhere, right? They just don't, you know, there's, there's, it's not immaculate conception for these things. You know, there are people behind them. And then at some point, according to the SEC, or according to other people in the space, they say, hey, okay, this is grown up, it's its own thing, it's out in the world, like any other commodity would, would be. Um, but it's hard to kind of understand because we do fall into this pattern of uh regulation by enforcement rather than you know those clear guidelines that i think we've talked about time and time again uh but back to you yeah the one thing i want to comment about this is just how arbitrary it looks like when they sort of include different tokens on there there's well over thirty thousand trading pairs on uniswap anyone can kind of list a token there but it gives a good barometer for how many tokens there are actively in the ecosystem some with no liquidity at all and some with a lot of liquidity it's confusing for the SEC to cherry pick 12, throw it into this documentation, and basically be putting these teams on notice that they are in violation of U.S. securities laws, while there are, again, probably like 28,000 plus other tokens that are not included in this, but the SEC would likely also consider them to be in uh, violation of securities laws. It's a very confusing part of this. There's a tweet popping off right now on Twitter talking about how it looks like coin, the, the SEC went to the Coinbase website and took a screenshot of the first trading tab and then just included those tokens on this list, meaning that they probably could have just included so many other tokens on the Coinbase website in this, but they've just picked those. For Coinbase, I think that the underlying structure part you mentioned, Zach, is probably more important and maybe it doesn't really matter about these tokens. It just matters about the tokens that they basically agree and settle on in the future. But for all these other projects, I mean, when do you know if you're in violation of securities laws or not? Like the Ethereum Foundation, the Ethereum team, they didn't know forever until maybe 2018 that documentation came out from the, the SEC. But even still, we're, we're still waiting, right? So how do you build when there's so much uncertainty? Jen? Yeah, so there were 12 tokens listed uh, in the Binance suit, right? And 13 tokens listed in Coinbase and some overlap, but they weren't exactly the same. So I really want to know what the criteria is on which tokens are being being included in which suit. Maybe some weren't available on either platform. I didn't really look into that. So maybe that's the simple answer. But this isn't the first time we've seen uh, tokens being listed in a suit before. So I would really love for the SEC to come out and tell us like what the criteria is. But I don't think that that is going to happen. 
And uh, the last thing I want to say, just on the back of your comments, Zach, I bring it up every time we talk about this, but this progressive decentralization conversation comes up in Hester Peirce's safe harbor proposal, right? Remember that proposal? It was supposed to give projects space to grow, to decentralize. We never heard about it again. It popped up uh, recently last week in the Republican bill. I really wish that this is something that someone would give some legs to because it seems like it would solve so many issues. It feels like the solutions are out there in the ether, the solutions. We're talking about them every day, but I don't know. It just feels like we're speaking to a brick wall. Pretty crazy. Definitely crazy times in the industry as the crypto crackdown in the U.S. ramps up.